Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 95. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 93 to 96. And hey, this trick number 95, this YouTuber said they had a list of clients with some names and list of amounts, and they wanted to extract a unique list of these amounts. They tried advanced filter. Uh, extract unique records, but the problem was this 20 and this 20 got reduced to 120, and he wanted both of them because they were two different clients. You can see here there's 50 and 50, but the clients are the same, so 150 will do. Here, 60, all of these are client 5, so he wanted only the first one. Now let's try advanced filter first. And by the way, there's three tricks here. Advanced filter, uh, extract unique records, uh, an and and or function, and a count if where we're counting unique records. All three of those ideas and concepts I've already made videos about. So if you download this and read up here, I actually have the links over here for those individual concepts. We're going to combine all of them in this one video here. First, let's try the advanced filter extract unique records. I'm going to click in this cell C12, Control Shift Down Arrow to highlight that whole range. And in 2007, you go to Data. And then here in the Sort and Filter group, there's Advanced Filter. In 2003, you go to the Data ribbon. And then Filter, Advanced Filter. I'm going to click the, this right here. It's got that range there, and I want to use this unique record. But first, I want to say Copy to another um, location, because that's the whole point. This YouTuber wanted to extract all the unique records from this column. We don't need a criteria range because we are going to use unique records only. And copy to where? I'm going to click right there. And I'm going to select cell F12 and then click OK. Now here's the problem that this YouTuber ran into. This 20, he needed two of them because they're different clients. Whereas this 10 worked. This 50 worked because these two names uh, are the same, so he really only wanted one. So we need to figure out something totally different than uh, extract unique records only, because it won't work with these two 20s if the criteria is uh, look over here also. I'm going to come over here, highlight that range there, and use the keyboard shortcut for clear all, which is content and format, Alt-E-A-A. That's uh, in 2003, edit, clear, clear all. In 2007, there's on the home ribbon that clear. And not only that, but when you do advanced filter, it a hidden name is uh, saved in Excel. We just did advanced filter, and I don't want to use that anymore. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut to get to my list of names. And this works in both versions. Control F3. And there it is. Um, there's that hidden name. Uh, in earlier version, this says not name manager, but define names. I'm going to click on that extract and click delete. That's a good thing to know, because whenever you do advanced filter with uh, criteria and whatnot, these uh, hidden names are there. Uh, now, we can't use that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add this column here, because the original data set only had these two columns. Add this amount and name, not a dupe. And we're going to have to invent a formula, a true-false formula, and then use traditional advanced filter with our field names and true up here to extract this. But first, we have to figure out a formula. And this formula will have a couple different parts. Uh, let's first see if we can uh, invent a formula that will tell us when this is a unique name. We're going to click in this cell and say and. And the first logical test, the AND has this logical test. Uh, and you can have as many as you want up to, I think, 60 it is now. But we're going to have two. And if they both come out to true, then AND will deliver the word tr the, uh, the thing true to the cell, which is what we want. This cell, and we have to use the um, syntax for not, less than, greater than, less than, greater than. So this is not equal to that comma, and the next logical test is this is not equal to this, less than, greater than. Now, right here, because this is not equal to that and that's not equal to that, the whole thing will come out to be true. But watch, when we get down here, 
uh, is this a unique record? It's going to check there. That's not equal to that. But right here, it'll say that's equal to that. And so it'll be a true and a false. And so it'll deliver a false to the cell. Let's try it. Control Enter, and then double click and send it down. See, right here is a false. So if I hit here uh, and click F2 for edit mode, I could highlight this right here just to test. See, this one, is that one equal to that one? I'm going to hit the F2, the F9 key, which is the evaluate key. Be careful when you hit the evaluate key, F9 in a formula. Always hit Control Z, or else it'll just keep that false there. So that's false, because it's asking, is this not that? And that's a false statement. Whereas here, is this not that? That's going to come out to be true. I'm going to hit my F9. It comes out to be true. I'm going to Control-Z to undo that. So this part of the formula will work for these values, name 1, name 2, name 3. But now, when we get down here, we really do want this 50 to be extracted. But it's been excluded because this formula is looking at name 4, name 4, and saying uh, that those are equal. So we have to have a second part to this. And we're going to have to wrap it both parts in an OR function. Because what we really want here is a second test. Is this a unique value? So let's come back up here and hit F2. This will deliver the true checking if the names are different, right? So when they're both true, that'll say true. But we need a second test to find out if this is a unique value. So I'm going to click at the beginning here, and this is going to be an OR. Or, because this could be true, or the second test, which is going to test unique values, could be true. I'm going to click at the end, and uh, we're going to say comma, count if. And we're going to check this cell right here, shift colon, because we want C13 to C13. And we're going to lock this one right here. I'm double clicking C13 and hitting the F4 key. I want it just in front of 13 because I'm going to copy it down. That range will expand. So as we move our formula down, it will expand, comma, click on C13, close parentheses, equals 1. So this part, this true or false, right here, it's going to be true. But when it gets down to here, that blue, this uh, range right here will expand, and it will be counting this cell right here, which is 20, and it will come out to be 2, and 2 does not equal 1, so it will be false. So this formula right here is a way to find the unique values. I'm going to close parentheses. And again, this is we've already had a video just on this one topic alone, and you can find it up there. And uh, that, that's our true, uh, either well, we have an or here. This can come out to be true, which is checking the names. Or this can be come out to be true, which is checking unique values. Control Enter, and then double click and send it down. Let's check and see what it did. It finally picked up this one, because we want that one in our extract. But we don't want this one. Whereas here, these two 20s are exactly the same, but the name part of this true false uh, says that it's true. So now that we have that, we can do our uh, traditional advanced filter. You have your field names up here, your field names here. And in this cell, you type T-R-U-E. And actually, this is not, I, I called this a, a thing earlier. It's not a word or a number. It's actually a true or false. Excel sees it that way. And you know that words, well, so that's our criteria. Now we're going to do advanced filter, because we're running out of time here. Click somewhere in your data set. And this is the new field. There's cells everywhere. So we can go up to advanced filter data, advanced filter here. And we want to uh, not filter the list in place. We want to copy to another location. Our list range is not right, so I'm going to um, click that collapse, highlight the field names, not these ones up here, but these ones, and Control Shift Down Arrow, uncollapse. The criteria range, I'm going to have to uh, come up here and get all of this. And copy to, and I'm going to select uh, that same F12, and then click OK. And there we have it. We uh, have our list of unique values with our names and true. Now, if you want to just this list right here, you then could click here and use your keyboard shortcut for um, clear all, Alt-E-A-A. -A. And same with this, Alt-E-A-A. -A. So that's a way to get 
uh, unique values with a, an added twist. And the fact was that we had some other criteria but besides just unique value in this uh, column here. All right, we'll see you next trick.